Which of the following is the best way to get free jailbreak money? A. Grinding B. Go to freerobux.net C. Buying jailbreak cash with Robux Answer in the comment section down below and I'll tell you the answer like at the very end of this video. So yeah, be sure to stay tuned, watch this video, and you'll find the answer. Hey everyone, my name is Mr. Today. I'm going to be playing some jailbreak and I'm going to be showing you guys the fastest way to get jailbreak money for free. Because of course, free is good, right? Because why would you be paying money to earn money? You know, like that doesn't make any sense. So, and show this man how to get money for free because clearly being a cop is not part of, um, earning money for free fast. Alright, here he goes. All the way over here. I don't know why he's still a cop. I mean, I think we need to teach this guy how to get a lot of free money. Okay, here he is. Right over here. Alright. Okay, he's over here. Let's go ahead and shoot this man down. All right, we need we need this gun. Shotgun over here. The shotgun is the best gun. Boom, just like that. The cop just goes oof. And where is he? Like, does he even have a key? Okay, well, now we're kind of like stuck in here. But let's see if um, he'll spawn anywhere here. All right, so once again, to escape jail, all you gotta do is like blow up this wall or like grab a cop's key card. That cop, I don't know where he went. We probably taught him. In order to get money fast, of course, he's gotta be a criminal. And once you are a criminal, what you want to do is come all the way over here, first door, closest to the jail, the donut store. You walk in here, open up this door, you see this man called Bad CC. Now you gotta hope that he isn't broke CC by begging to him, please have money Bad CC, please be nice to me, please don't camp. Just like that, 600 cash will come to you. Now all we gotta do is like grab our like super expensive heli because um, we earned our money for this one in heli. And let's go ahead and just use this 1M heli and fly somewhere random, get some guns. Alright, here we go, jewelry store is now open. So one of the ways to get money fast is robbing the stores. I mean, like, the stores are here for a reason, to get robbed. And, like, why the heck is my character um, broken, kind of? Okay, there we go, kind of fix itself for some reason. But other than that, what you gotta do is just come here to the jewelry store, gotta spam press F basically all the time and while you're inside this jewelry store bottom floor with all these um glass thingamajigs just spam press the f key just like this whenever you hear this noise or you see this some um, glass break into pieces like that and your duffel bag is filled like when a fraction equals one then you can go ahead and come up here if you don't know how a fraction equals one you should probably pay more attention to math class instead of like camping and jailbreak or something but let's go ahead just come over here and go through these cameras you shouldn't really die in them if you like follow what i just did there it's a fairly easy trick go against the cameras i mean yeah like go against them once don't go like don't let the camera like track you down that's how you die from the cameras but here we go now once you're up here and you do have the bugatti open the door run back if you don't have the bugatti okay there's a cop right over there um hello why are we ascending um, yeah, the parachute's broken, so hopefully you guys, you guys don't get, like, a parachute that does something like this, because that is not good. We, we want to go, whoa. Okay, there we go, now the parachute fixes itself, and what you do is get into your vehicle and just, like, run away from these police officers. Those police officers always, like, do bad stuff. Never, ever trust police officers. Alright, here we go. Next door we stop at oh, is over here, the gas station. Mr. Asimo3089 is now over here. He's guarding the register. He's probably sleeping or something. So let's go ahead and take his money by holding E like this. Easy peasy, get ourselves 600 cash. And the next logical step would probably be going to the bank. So here we go, let's go ahead and just use up all our rocket fuel and buy a little bit of rocket fuel. Rocket fuel is the only thing that is acceptable to buy with Robux because it will actually help you in case cops are camping. But what you want to do if you don't have a key card is come over here just start jumping on this and I think the door will open up soon. If your package doesn't work then someone else's should. Just like that it opens up. And now all we need to do is just stand over here and hold this E circle to place some dynamite. Alright this door is now exploded so here we go. People would like move already. Okay there we go. People are going that way. Someone's going up there. They started a robbery. And now people are opening up the vault as well. And whenever the vault is beeping you want to wait back here. Do not push. Don't jump. And here we go. Vault's open. Let me just go ahead and just like run in here. And, um, the server isn't lagging, the money will pop up instantly, but the server's kind of, like, lagging right now, so the money does eventually pop up, and just like that, we're just, it's just ticking, and we're gonna get ourselves 3,000 cash. Alright, now we have 3,000 cash, and we can go ahead, and just come over here, we don't have a key card, so that's why Bad CC added this escape method. What you wanna do is just hold E, and the dynamite will start ticking, just like that, and it will soon blow up. If somebody in the bank does, okay, there's a cop. 
That's that's not good. Over there. That police officer. Whoa. Where did he just go? I think he just went invincible or something. Maybe he crashed or something. But I don't know where that cop just went. And here we go. We made it out of the bank alive. 3,600 cash just like that. And I believe now we can go ahead and head back to the jewelry store. And while we're waiting for the jewelry store right here, a quick thing to remember is the store will always open up 8 in-game hours from whenever it, it closed. So like whenever the robbery ended. So the bank robbery just ended around like 1am in-game time. So we will know that around 9am in-game time the bank will open up. Now for the bank it's not as important as the jewelry store because you can go in the bank during a robbery. But jewelry store you can't go in during the robbery. So if you're like within an hour of the jewelry store opening time which in usually like if you rob it at 4pm. Like, at the very beginning, it will be 2 a.m. by the time you're done, assuming you're the only robber. And so we're gonna go ahead and just wait around here just like that. 2 a.m., my predictions were correct. There's a cop right over here. He's trying to camp. So here we go, we just gotta run and start punching just like this. Okay, he's in here. The cop made it. The cop made it. I repeat, there's a cop right over here. He's trying to camp. He's not following our um, trick to get money. He's gonna be complaining about being broke. And we'll just let him complain about being broke because he isn't following our tip to, um... He just died in the lasers, just like that. That's what he deserves. And here we go, 5,000 cash. And once again, I'm going to go ahead and sh tell you guys the easiest way to get through the lasers and cameras without dying. Num Neb and Joey, I'd recommend you guys um, watch this. So here we go, just like this. And once you're over here, you wait for the laser to go over there. And then you come, like, walk right behind it, just like that. And as you can see, zero damage whatsoever. The lasers just jump. It's an obby. It's fairly easy. And you wait for this to be at the far right, and then you go to the far opposite side, and then you run through like that, and you make it to the top. And if you do have a Lambo in this case, just do that, and run over here. Don't risk the parachute, don't risk the campers. Just do this little trick. Cop is camping out there, he doesn't know what he's doing. And now all we gotta do is, um, knock a camp by this cop over here, chilling over here. And if he is camping here, we just immediately fly or drive this way, depending on what vehicle you have. And now it's time to go back to the small stores. I believe the small stores open like every uh, 5 to 6 in-game hours, so last time we robbed it was like 6 or 7 p.m. And just like that, our predictions are in fact true. Asimo does have money. We are now approaching Bad CC's donut store over here, so let's see. This man hasn't been robbed in at least a day, so let's see. This man should have money. And just like that, Bad CC does have money, and this cop is hacking. This cop is straight up hacking. I'm pretty sure he- yes! He just teleported. This cop is straight up hacking, so... If the hacker joins the game, he, he just like straight up just arrested me and left the game. So, we record his name, Block Mask, and we go over here to our main Roblox page. So as you can see, I'm on Roblox, and his name was a Block Mask. And this tool right here called um, the Block feature, it works very well against hackers. So what you gotta do is click these three dots, Block User, Block, and they will not be able to join you anymore. And now all we gotta do is go here, back into jailbreak and join another game. All right, here we go. We just joined a new server. You can tell because like almost everyone's a prisoner. In this case, I'd recommend being like the evil cop real quick, but you're not going to do anything as a cop because there's like just no one to arrest. Everyone's innocent basically. So what you got to do is just come over here, jump on this door, grab this helicopter. If you don't have the 1M heli, fly this heli back into the yard. If you do have the 1M heli, take this heli, come over to the 1M shop, Grab that one because this one does not need to be hijacked. And because it does not need to be hijacked, that means less people swarming it in the yard. So here we go. There is a helicopter just like that. We grab it and we fly it back to the jail and just jump out of it and switch team. So here we go. Let's go ahead and go towards the gas station. It's fairly close. And because it's a new server, Asimo and Bassies, he will have money at the very beginning. Bank and jewelry store will open up at 4.15pm on a non-laggy server. So here we go. Asimo does have money. So that is perfect. Asimo's money has been robbed. We increased 600 cash. And now we're off to Bad CC store. And once again, we gotta rob all these small stores before the big stores are open. So here we go, Bad CC. Let's go ahead and rob this man. And just like that, Bad CC of course has money. We're the only criminal. We don't really have to worry about anyone else. We can go ahead and just like fly around here. The cops are most likely camping in a jail and news server. So that's why I recommend using the heli trick. If you arrive at the jewelry store before like 3 p.m., I would recommend coming over here and uh, grabbing some weapons at this police station by flying to the top and jumping out. Another reason why I'd use a heli. And we just go ahead and just come over here 
and go back in our heli just in case police officers are camping. And I would not go on the train because like last time the train is most likely going to fling me somewhere. And this server is a little bit laggy so the store opened up slightly earlier at 3.15pm. Almost an entire hour before schedule so here we go. Boop just like that. Police officer or someone showed up I'm pretty sure it was a cop since um, the other guy most likely just escaped. And I don't see another red blip on my minimap, so if you see a police officer, just immediately start punching. If they get in, let them die in the lasers if you don't have guns. And you should be able to defend yourself fairly easily in that method. But here we go, we have 5,000 cash. All we gotta do now is go through cameras and lasers. And we do have a donut this time, just in case we take a bunch of damage in here. We can heal up a little bit, so here we go, we go through here. Still no damage, very easy. First round, we're in the server, you wanna open these things up. And here we go, um, uh... We just accidentally used our donut, but that really won't matter. We're still going to be able to go through these, even with a little bit of lag in them. Like, once you get used to it, it's fairly easy. You just got to make this routine. So here we go. There is that. Police officer is camping over there by my helicopter. So we're going to go ahead and come get ourselves our Bugatti. I'll let the cop do whatever he wants with the heli. And use our um, backup um, escape method, which basically just go around these buildings. And you just go on this grass. Cars do work on grass and they do go full speed as well. So here we go. Touch the fence. 6,000 cash. Easy peasy. And now this looks like a police officer right over here. As you can see, it's fairly easily like identifiable. You see him with like a handcuffs and stuff out. Want to shoot him down. Okay, looks like. Is he going to go hide? Yep, he just went inside his vehicle. So we're going to approach and just come over here and shoot him just like that. And boom. He is now dead, and just like this, we just punch this thing, and it'll open up, and we just face the wall over here in like a little angle, and we start opening up the store, then we can access the bank. So right now, because the robbery has not started, police officers cannot enter, but once you do, the cops will in fact be able to enter, and I believe I heard some dinging over here, so yes, there is a cop right there. Is he gonna be nice? Is he not? I'm not sure. Okay, here's this evil cop, here's this evil cop. No, 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 no. See, this is why you don't trust cops, because they might say team, and then some other guy will come and arrest you. So, I would recommend avoiding um, trusting cops at all, because you'll end up getting arrested if you trust them way too much. Hopefully, you guys found this um, tutorial on how to get money super quickly very useful, because this is the only way to get money really quickly, for free, without getting scammed or hacked. So, if you guys enjoyed this, be sure to press like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.